Okay, moving on. We're ready to um, to prep the ship for painting. A couple of important updates I want to show you guys since we left off last one. <clears throat> Instead of going about to do the um, the stencils for the paint masks, I figured it'd be a little easier just to get the uh, the decals. So we have the the markings that are going to go on there. And we have the uh, the Klingon symbols that are going to go on either um, the main parts of the secondary hull going down to the nacelle pylons. So I wanted to show you those just to get these. <clears throat> and another big important thing, because this was kind of keeping us from moving on in this build, I got more of the uh, plastic perfect uh, perfect plastic putty. I like this stuff. It does a really good job. It's durable. You can either sand it or you can get a damp cloth and just kind of wipe it away. But when you do that, be careful because it tends to ball up. Um, so if you want to sand it, you can sand it. If you want to gently wipe it away, you can do that as well. And we'll do that. Because <clears throat> the two that I had ended up drying out. So you can see where we left off with the ship we had just put on the nacelles and we need to, um, we're going to run some of the putty and we're going to clean up the seams and all the crevices. You guys remember, we put two of the, the lights in, we got the five millimeter. We've got one at the bottom that's going to illuminate the windows and we've got one on top. And you can see where the original lights were going to go. But the one that we put, we drilled the hole and we put the five millimeter through the top. <clears throat> I think what we're going to do, because basically this is all going to be the same color as the underside with the exception of the flat part of the primary hull. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to put the, um, the structure on. You can see this is the part we're going to do. We're going to put the, um, I've been trying to find pieces from other kits and just things to be able to fit these notches, these holes on top. They got them painted green and that's not the color. Um, I want to, I don't know if, if I try to paint them red, how that's going to look, but that's an issue we're going to have to address. But basically all this stuff, all these objects are going to be basically the underside color with the exception of the flat part at the top. That's going to be gray, as is the secondary hull top. <clears throat> so, I think we're going to put this Let's section on. ahead and we'll take these pieces off the trees. Now uh, we got this one as well. Also, you can see the green parts, the vents that are on either side of the, um, the primary hull. These are going to go into the sides. So why don't we go ahead and get these off now. And these were meant to be lit. Again, <clears throat> I looked everywhere from the filming model from Star Trek, and they're not lit anywhere which is kind of too bad because I was hoping to find some lit because it would look cool lit on the side, especially the green is a little area where we're gonna put just a dab there and we're gonna put it there and we're gonna go around the opening just like that. So this section is gonna go in just like that. You can see this section where it's going to hold. You see how it's nice and snug. It's a good fit because we trimmed off the flash. And I think we're going to, we're going to drill just a couple of areas. So let's go ahead and we're going to put just a bit of glue in. 
just enough to hold it into place and then we can uh, stand it up. Yeah, see how that is kind of flush up against the outer part. So that's what we want. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And again, it'd be awesome to keep these lit, but that's not how the model is. That's not how the filming model looks, so we can't do what I'm gonna do now, is we're gonna put a couple of windows in the uh, primary hull. Let's stop, see if I can get one, one of these. see the markings on the filming model. Okay, so we'll just do those. So just to, just enough to know that there are some windows there. Okay, so let's think about putting this section on. <laughs> it's going to get it, get the job done. You can see there's another thread hole insert, but we're going to be putting that and sealing that up. This section off. This is what's going to go behind the grills in the top part or in the front. Um, let's see, maybe we, don't, we can just spin these off. Yeah. And again, this originally has um, a section where the internal workings are actually um, battery powered. So in order to keep it battery powered, theoretically, you have to be able to access the battery compartment. That's why this isn't meant to be permanently glued in place. Go ahead and remove the clamps. First, it looks like it's not going to fit, but you've got to angle it in. See how they kind of angle in at the bottom? All right, there's going to be side panels that are going to go on over 
these sections. Again, it doesn't have any tabs at all, so it's all going to depend where you line it up. Once you get the top part in, um, the chrome part kind of fits right into place. And you can kind of make sure it's nice and flush. that with the other one and those are going to go on either side of this section right here so we did the ones up top let's do a couple on the bottom there are two rows maybe we'll do one more over here maybe two more see there are two rows. There's an upper level and there's a bottom level. It'd be interesting to know what, uh, what's in there. By the way guys, you may or may not know, according to Polar Lights, they're going to be doing a 1350 scale uh, Katinga class. It's actually Chancellor Gorkhan ship in 1350 scale, so that's going to be really cool. So that looks good. We'll have the lights in the front. So we'll put some. Again, make sure it's nice and level. And we gotta let this dry. Let's let, let that dry. And I don't know where we're going to put that. To. Oh, cool. All right, just like that. All right, so we can do this. We'll, we'll be able to pull the wires back out to get into the base. But in the meantime, we gotta we gotta close the secondary hull because there's gonna be too many gaps that we're gonna have to fix. And if we already paint the bottom of the ship, when we put this on, we're gonna have to paint it anyway. going to be a bit of a gap that we're going to have to fill in. So let's hold this in place and we can give it a few reinforcing drops of glue. Let's find the, the hole insert for the front. Yeah. I 
and then it's going to go like that. And the hole that's in the bottom of the ship where the wires are going through, they're going to pass through here. I'm going to run them into the point and out through the bottom. And the base is going to be its own special video um, because I got some special plans for the base. I think you guys are going to like it. So what I think I want to do now is I want to glue the front where the shoulders come together. Then I'm putting just a bit of glue along the, the line. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put maybe a drop. Just let it run along the seam like that. See how it's kind of like gravity take its toll and just kind of let the bead run down the seam. And then we can kind of push it together. So let's think about gluing the back. Just like that. And then the only section I will have left is we'll have to get this section in. This will be the, um, the starboard side. But you guys can see we're going to have to bend this down a bit to get this to fit. But before we do that, we want to make sure that there's a, a seal all the way around where it's nice and glued. Of glue there. fit on. I started at this end and I closed up the gaps and we went along and I sealed it and as we went along we waited for it to dry. As it dried I moved a little over to the other side, went across the front, closed up the seams, same thing in the back. We closed up the seams nicely until we got all the way over to the starboard side. Okay, so we had some time to dry and solidify. So let's take the clamp off. All right, so this should be all nice and dry and solid. I figure what we'll do is I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep the top pot off for now because it's a good place to hold it while we paint the, uh, the uh, underside. So we'll keep it like that for now. Then we could always paint it and then put it on. Plus another thing is I want to paint it um, before we put the... Uh, let's see if I can get it in first. Before we put the chrome piece in, kind of reflect it in the light. So we'll get that nice and painted first and then we'll put the chrome part in. But just to show you guys, to recap, this is gonna go right here. Make sure I can, just like that. Of course, when we glue it on, we'll push it down and make more contact with it. But going to go on. And the model originally called for this just clicking into place like that. So remember this has batteries in it. So you would take it off. You get the batteries right there. You put them in and then you replace this. Okay so the model has had some time to dry. You can see the top part as well. I think I'm going to do a couple of windows on the front of the ship. side. The filming model has the windows darkened in and we can still do that. So we'll darken in the room lights that are off. We'll open up a fresh tube of perfect plastic putty. I like to do, I like to take just a little bit. And we'll kind of Either, 
you can either sand it or you can um, you can wash it off. I like to take just a little bit. And to go way up in there. So the beauty of this is that it's so flexible. You just run it right down the seam. Okay, so she had some time to dry. You can tell when it dries because it gets that really chalky kind of look. All right, let's start the magic. Let me show you guys how easy it is. We're gonna start with this section right here. So you guys remember the old days when we used the testers or whatever kind of modeling putty. It would get really hard and then in order to get rid of it, you'd have to sand it down. That is an option with this one. If you guys want to sand, you're able to sand it. But watch what happens when you take a damp cloth. Wipe it away. take a towel, a nice dry towel, and I just go over really quick and then look at that. So we got a nice crease. Look at that, beautiful. remember that there was there was some gaps or some areas that needed to be filled in
So that looks pretty good. This is the closest color that I could get to the model, the filming model. And the interesting thing about this ship is like Matt Jeffrey stated, um, he was using a manta ray as a, an example or a guide. And you know guys, the manta has the white colors underneath, so when you're looking up, it blends in. And it's got the dark color on top, so when you're looking down at it, it tends to blend in. You guys can tell the difference how the camera is going to pick it up but what made those seams really really stick out now they look kind of seamless and again this after we get done painting the ship we're going to paint this section we'll put the reflective backing in and you can see where it's going to go right onto the back just like that and again because it has batteries in it. The kit calls for not gluing this on. You take it off, you can see the battery compartments right in there. So, don't look now, but we're ready to paint the ship. And I'm looking very much forward to that. That's gonna be in the next video, my friends. So, I appreciate the kind words and support in this build. And until we paint this wonderful ship, I'll talk to you soon.